had the most idyllic life that anybody could have. It's all I've been, I've always been aware of it. So, are you still hoping for a miracle? I, it's it's probably uh, delusional, but uh, I'm I'm very confident that I'm going to be okay. It's crazy. For a guy who's supposedly dying, Sam Simon is living a wonderful life. Besides co-developing one of the most successful shows in the history of television, he started the Sam Simon Foundation to rescue stray dogs. He's donated so much money to PETA, they named their headquarters after him. And he opened a food bank that now feeds vegan food to 400 families every day, all while enduring a brutal regimen of chemotherapy and taking dozens of cancer pills. Have you always been philanthropic? Yeah, I always have. I always tithed. But now I give away 100%. His latest worthy cause, saving whales. The Japanese uh, uh, Ill illegal whale poachers uh, escalated their violence to uh, a level that has been unmatched in any of the campaigns. Simon bought a ship, featured on the season premiere of Whale Wars during Friday on Animal Planet, whose mission is to block Japanese fishermen from hunting whales. Oh my god, look at it! What change do you want to see in the world? Less suffering. For people and animals. For everything. Did you ever think that the success of The Simpsons would ultimately enable you to do all this? Absolutely not. I couldn't be happier about how wrong I was about how long The Simpsons was going to last. I, I sure didn't think it was going to last longer than me, which seems like it's on its way. Nice to see him keeping things lighthearted for now, but to say Sam is generous really is an understatement. Some estimate that the entire Simpsons fortune he's giving away is worth tens of millions of dollars.